Hey guys, so it's seven minutes past 11 and we're back on our way down to the Royal Mail sorting office to pick up the parcel that we wanted to pick up yesterday but couldn't because the sorting office had closed. So they're open until 1 p.m. today and we've got plenty of time now. So it's been a lovely relaxed morning. So Holly came to me this morning and said that you wanted to dress up as a princess, didn't you? So we didn't have a wand. We've got a crown and we've got a pretty party dress. But mummy had to make you a wand, didn't she? Hold the wand up so everybody can see it. It's basically two cardboard stars cut out and wrapped in tin foil stuck to a wooden spoon. Yeah. I can smell the same smell again. Yeah. Wonder, wonder what it is. I uh I wonder what is uh just the bird. Just the bird. Just the dog. I don't think it's a dog. So we've picked up the parcel from the post office and it's actually from, it's got a sender's address on it, it's actually from um, Manzi, who if you've been intently watching my vlogs, you'd know is the girl that I've been friends with for a long time and we've had some sort of, you know, we've had, <laughs> we've had a bit of a misunderstanding or a miscommunication or a bit of a falling out for want of a better way of putting it, that's the shortest way of saying it. But she sent something here for Holly, so we're just gonna open this on screen because that's most, it was most unexpected and I feel like a bit of peacemaking is being made at the moment and I think that's really, really nice, I really do. So I'm just gonna open this now. I'm gonna help mummy open this. Mummy starts ripping it first because it's a bit tough. Plastic, there we are. It might be wrapped up inside as well. What's Oops. inside? I don't know yet. Oh, 
there's a little note. Let mummy get the note before it rips. Hang on, stop, stop. What's inside? I don't know. Do you want me to read you the note first? Yeah. It says, these are Holly's Christmas gifts. Yes. I haven't, listen, I haven't been able to give them in person as the situation with the group is still left unresolved. I'd appreciate it if she got them, especially the one as I took time to, as it took time and effort. Thanks, Mandy. Yes, what's inside? What's inside? Oh, it's all wrapped up in Christmas <gasps> gifts. Oh, look! This is what's on. What's on the wrapping paper? It's a birdie. What type and of birdie is it? It's a robin. And whose favourite bird is a robin? Me. No, who else's favourite bird is a robin? Granny. That's one. Right. We'll do this one first, just because I kind of know, I know what it is, but I don't know which one it is. Can I open so it you now? Open, right, so this is the first one. Right, you open that one then. <laughs> don't mess up my car now. <laughs> Are you shaking then? Right, pull it this way. Pull it. Turn, that's it. Oh, it's a book. Is it a book? Yes. Oh my goodness. Is it Percy the park keeper? It's a book. Only one of mummy's favourites when she was a little girl. Oh, are you so lucky? Oh, be careful with the pages, sweetheart. Come on. Percy the park keeper. Now then. Granny used to read this to me when I was a little girl. Did you know that? Mummy's got Percy the Park Keeper book somewhere in the house. I'm sure of it. Yes. 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 Do you think we should read this tonight at bedtime? Yes. Wow. What's it called? It's called A Tale from Percy's Park, One Snowy Night. Wow. Is I think that... that looks really good. Would you like to open the other presents? Yes. Right, so shall we keep this safe and we'll read that for bedtime tonight? Let me just show everybody. It's lovely. One of Mummy's favourites, right? We'll put that down there safe so we can read that in bed tonight. Now you open this one. And I would imagine... That Mandy's yes. I, w I thought she might have made you this herself <gasps> do you know what it is it's what you've been asking for for ages when we go outside because you've got hat and gloves haven't you but you haven't got a, <gasps> a hat it's not a hat what is that it's a scarf it is a scarf it's for me it is for you and auntie mandy made it for you Look, it is to keep the wind out. Look at that. Look how smart you are. Do you like the colours? What's your favourite colour? Pink. Ah, well that's that's a coincidence, isn't it? I think Auntie Mandy must be watching. She must pay attention to these things. Do you want to say thank you? Thank you. <laughs> what other colours are in the scarf? Um, purple and, and white. Ah, well, aren't you just the luckiest? Hey, isn't that very nice? It's for the it's for the snow globe. It's for the snow globe. <clears throat> I don't think it's for a snow globe. I just think it's for the cold weather. It's for the cold weather. And that will keep you nice and warm now, won't yeah. it? You're very lucky. It's for me. It's for you. Yeah, it's mine. It is yours. Thank you, Mandy, if you're watching. That's really, Hi. really thoughtful, isn't it?
will read a book for bedtime. It would be nice, won't it? And if you go outside to play with Evie and Ava today, you can wear your scarf as well, can't you? Keep you nice and warm. And a hat and gloves. That's right. And we make a snowman to make. Well, there's no snow to make a snowman, but if there was, then yes, we would. Give us a twirl, Princess Holly. Ooh. Oh, your shoes come off now, is it? Right, that's enough, because <laughs> you're going to get dizzy. No. Tell everybody where we've been, Holly. We've been shopping. Where else did we go? We go And we went to Costa and had some toast. Good girl. And what did you have on your toast? Yum! Mm, and was it yummy? Yeah. 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 So yeah, we picked after we picked up the parcel or Holly's present. Um, we came. Hmm. We came here, and I went into Poundland to look for some like princess stuff to go with her princess outfit that she's got on today but they only had um like jewelry but the dress that she's got has got like diamantes around the collar anyway so she doesn't really need the jewelry so there wasn't really anything else but while we were there the christmas decorations were on sale for five pence each so i picked up what was it i think about one pound and ten pence worth of um christmas decorations for next year because next year i'm going for i know i went for what i would say an untraditional christmas tree by having colorful lights so it was untraditional to me but i still had like quite a lot of red green and gold decorations next year i'm going for colorful lights and like really like pink purple blue everything like that so i picked up yeah and i picked up like some multicolored stuff and some pink stuff so oh, I, I might i might her. show you that when i get home I that would be pretty cool i my favorite color is black your favorite color is black i thought your favorite color was pink a minute ago yeah. all right okay it's so yeah that was really cool so everything was like five pence in the sale unless you were buying like one of the big christmas trays which was five pounds down from ten which i thought was just brilliant um so we stocked up on things like that i bought some new kitchen knives because the ones i've got at the moment are pretty blunted or blunt blunted blunt blunt i'm gonna stick with blunt and it's probably cheaper just to buy three new knives well one was a two pack and one was a single pack um from poundland and it is to buy a knife sharpener for about a fiver and sharpen them so i picked some kitchen knives up because i do use my kitchen knives daily so it's not like a it's not like a unuseful purchase and then we went to costa so it's 25 past one in the afternoon now and i um, just going to pop into town because I finally decided what I would like from my brother for Christmas. So I've decided, like at the beginning of the year, I wanted um, a paper shredder and some ink. I only ended up buying ink for my printer. So I need, like, 
I was going through all of my paperwork last night and I was like, oh, I really do need a paper shredder. So I just sent him a picture of the one that I wanted. And I said, can you get me this for Christmas? And he was like, ha ha ha, the excited life of 28 year olds. And I was like, oh, cheers bro. I was like, was either that or make up? And he was like, I'll transfer you the money now. But I might ask him if he can transfer some more money for, apparently you've got to have like lubricating oil or something like that. But I don't know, I'll see how much it is. If it's not a lot, then I'll buy it myself, so. Paper shredder bought. I've got the Rexel Pro Style Plus 5 Cross Cut Shredder. So this was £30 down from £60. And I also bought the lubricating sheets, um, which is cool. And apparently you can shred credit cards as well, which is awesome. Look at my eye, it looks really closed compared to the other one. What's inside my mate? I'm wearing like the Bobbi Brown cream shadows and I think like they feel really like heavy and sticky on my eyes and I think it's like made this eyelid really heavy. Look. Look how puffy that looks. It doesn't in the mirror. Alright then. I think it's Definitely time to go home now because it's five to two and I haven't had any lunch yet because I didn't have anything in Costa because there's nothing healthy to buy in Costa. Bye cars. Bye cars. See you later cars. See you tomorrow. We're going to be here tomorrow morning to see Auntie Caroline. Yay. Are we going to dress up as a nurse tomorrow? Yeah, you can show Auntie Laura, and Auntie Laura your um, nurse costume then, and Auntie Caroline, and Auntie Lynn, and Auntie Anne. Auntie Caroline. Auntie Caroline. 